Genesis G80 is the large luxury saloon you probably haven't considered in your perusal of models in the class for cars like the BMW's 5 Series, Audi's A6 and the Mercedes E-Class. Those contenders are difficult to take on directly, but someone seeking something a little more left field in this segment, say a Jaguar XF, a Lexus ES or a Volvo S90, ought to consider this G82. It might well surprise you. The G80 launched with the four-cylinder 2.2-litre 210 PS diesel we're trying here, with the alternative of a 304 PS 2.5-litre four-cylinder turbo petrol unit if you prefer to fuel from the green pump. Both are mated to an eight-speed automatic gearbox. Genesis has developed a 365 horsepower all-electric version too, which gets an E all-wheel drive system, can go up to 323 miles on a single charge of its 87.2 kilowatt-hour battery, and has solar roof panels to boost range. The EV model's pretty silent, but even if you stick with combustion power as we have here, you can expect exceptional levels of drive refinement aided by special noise cancelling technology along with acoustic muffling side glass. And though this is no sports saloon, it's not slow. Even this four-cylinder diesel managing 62 miles an hour in eight seconds. You can trim two seconds off that time if you go for the two and a half litre petrol variant. It's just 4.9 seconds for the electrified model, which uses a powerful 272 kilowatt drive motor. To replicate those figures, you'll need to have selected the most urgent of the three provided drive modes, Sport. The other two are Eco and Comfort. The latter best, of course, for experiencing the best that the standard electronic control suspension system has to offer. Its adaptive damping effect is aided by a camera that monitors the road surface and adjusts the suspension to suit the tarmac tears and potholes you're about to pass over. You expect this car to be something of a luxury wafter, and sure enough, there's the rather light and woolly steering that tends to characterise this type of big saloon. Once we got this G80 to a few secondary roads, though, we found that it actually handles better than we'd expected, though it's a pity that you can't have the ELSD electronic limited slip differential that's available on the GV80 SUV model. If you've the optional ergo motion driver's seat, selection of the sport mode tightens the side bolsters around you, which through the twists and turns, presumably as intended, distracts you a little from noticing the kind of pitch and roll that afflicts all big saloons of this size. Which is not surprising, as this one tips the scales at over 2,400 kilos. But likely buyers aren't people who are going to want to throw this car about. In this 2.2 litre diesel form, this G80 is reasonably economic, quoted at 43.7 to 45 mpg on the combined cycle, with up to 164 grams per kilometre of CO2. With the 2.5 litre petrol engine, those readings fall to 30.5 to 31.2 mpg, with up to 205 grams per kilometre of CO2. If you want to do better, then you'll need to ask your Genesis personal assistant about the alternative all electric version. That electrified G80 can go 323 miles on each charge and it has a quick charging system that can charge the battery from 10 to 80 percent within 22 minutes. The electrified G80 also has a V2L or vehicle to load feature that makes it possible to conveniently charge other electric devices and to increase energy efficiency a solar panel is built into the roof to generate electricity using sunlight. Like its GV80 SUV stablemate, this G80 saloon certainly has plenty of road presence, primarily due to its huge G matrix front grille and bisected LED headlamps. Size-wise, this car competes against full executive models like BMW's 5 Series, Audi's A6 and the Mercedes E-Class. The wheels are 19, or as in this case, 20 inches in size, depending on the spec you choose. The rear has shades of Mercedes CLS four-door coupe and looks almost hatch-like. The split LED tail lamps are separated by spaced Genesis lettering. There's a subtle roof antenna and lower down a silver-framed exhaust on each side. But it's the cabin that Genesis thinks will really sell you this car.
sure enough, take a seat up front and there's a very high quality feel and an almost Bentley-like knurled finish to some items of switch gear. One of the first things you notice is this simply enormous 14 and a half inch central screen. Then you take in the wide center console with its curious ivory colored central rotary infotainment controller and the horizontal vent that stretches from the instrument binnacle to the passenger door. Lots of efforts been made to push this cabin up market. The soft touch dash with its white double stitching, the brushed metal finish around the rotary gear selector and door cards with delicately fashioned speaker vents. Genesis also includes standard double glazing for the front side windows. Textured two-tone indicator tips and arcing door panels complete the high-end ambience. Quite a lot that you'd really want, though, requires top spec trim and or costs extra. This quilted leather upholstery, the real wood interior trim and the ventilated Ergo motion driver seat, for instance. You'll also pay more for this 12.3 inch instrument binnacle screen with its smart 3D graphics. Without that, you get an 8 inch display. Let's take a look in the rear. There's very comfortable space for two adults here in the second row where you can really stretch out, though headroom isn't especially generous. Out back, there's a 424 litre boot. And if that's not large enough, the rear seats fold almost flat electrically if you've a luxury line model specified with the optional executive pack. If you want a full-sized luxury saloon not defined by its badge, but by the way it looks, feels and drives, then this G80 might appeal. Particularly if you're fed up with the dismissive level of customer service that characterises some premium brand dealerships. This big Genesis sedan won't get the attention garnered upon its GV80 SUV stablemate, but in its own way... It's just as appealing a proposition, and one that starts from a considerably lower price starting point. The looks are individual, the cabin is sumptuous, and this G80 can rival the best of its competitors when it comes to ride and refinement. Those alternatives would surely shade it in terms of handling, but that kind of capability is rarely important to customers in this segment. If this is a sign of things to come from Genesis, then the prospects for this ambitious Korean mark seem strong. <laughs>